Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. Derek Ray here on the commentary box, joined as always by former England defender Lee Dixon. And very much ready to bring you the cut and thrust of League Two. It's Morecambe and they take on Crew Alexandra. Well, thank you, Derek. The excitement at the start of any game is almost tangible. Looking forward to this one. The crowd are up for it. The players look like they're going to have a really good go at this game. Can't wait. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three. Must score! And up for grabs off the keeper. It looked as though he might have been onside, but he was just a fraction off. No, oh, I'm not so sure. I'd like to see that again. Well, the fans have been wondering how this might go. It is his debut game. What should we be looking for from him today, Lee? Well, he should be in the thick of it today. Central midfield is where it's at. The engine room of any team. He'll be expected to chip in with all aspects of that midfield play. Let's just see how he settles in. Big day for him today, Derek. And the cross is very much on. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. Not to be advised, giving the ball away there. Can't miss, surely! Well, it was straight at the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. Ainley with it. And providing width. Fruitful-looking attack. And the danger cleared. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for the visitors. 16 minutes played, 1-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. On and on he goes. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. So now a corner. He's driven in the corner. Not all that convincing defensively. That is a moment he would dearly love to have back, if possible. Yeah, it wasn't his best effort, was it? But I bet he thought, I haven't got anything on. Why not try a shot? Perry Ng has it. Well, great read there to intercept. Howard. A very effective clearance. Smith. This looks promising. Might be able to get in behind the defence. He must finish! And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, here it is again. You're trained from a young age to get in those sort of positions and never in any real doubt he'd finish that. Cool and composed. 1-0 then. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McAnally to tell us more. It's a goal for Plymouth Argyle. 29 minutes played. 1-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Giving it a try. Easy save. Given away. Alex Kenyon here. In possession, Oates. Aaron Wilding. And showing fine vision. Driven in low, splendid defending, and it needed to be. Powell. Wintle with it. It's all about translating threats into goals. 
in possession Oates and news of a goal in the Blackpool match let's hear about it from Allen it's a goal for Blackpool 41 minutes played 1-0 thanks very much as always Allen can't miss surely well first rate goalkeeping oh he can't believe the goalkeepers saved that that's brilliant Played into the center of the box. Staunch rear guard action. What a vital intervention. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Really tense battle so far, and now the second half is underway. Smith. Wintle with it. And that was a very fine read. A move of promise on the flank. Just wanted to get it out of there. Wintle with it. Smith. Now, there's been so much talk about a potential transfer, but it's potential no more. It's fact. Well, Derek, the figure, I think, is around £60 million. I think you're getting one heck of a player for that sort of money. He should be a real asset to the club. I well, just couldn't keep the ball. Into the advanced position. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Can he put it away? Whatever it takes. It's there for him. And a goal in his debut, no less. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, he'll have been dreaming about that last night. What a way to endear yourself to those fans. Well, just look at the keeper. He thinks he's coming out. Have another look. It's in the back of the net. He's a little bit unlucky. So 2-0 now. A reminder that foul and Alex Kenyon here. Will not be in Beautiful the pass. A chance to whip it in. Oh, a vital interception. Again, I don't want to look at it as a former defender. I've scored a few of these in my time, and they were always my fault. Got Playing for all of them. Important the players pick him up from here on in. Owen oh, Dale. Ainley with it. Good looking. They cross for themselves based on the position he had taken up. Well, yeah, it was poor technique, wasn't it? Thrashed at it a little bit, went for power.
Elsewhere, Alan. It's a goal for Bradford City. 67 minutes played. 1 1. Cheers again, Alan. Quick ball almost all along the ground. plenty 2-2 two, two. a goal has been scored in one of the other games Alan McAnally has the news it's the second goal for the visitors 71 minutes played 2-1 Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date running with the ball confidently he has time to play it over enjoying time and space here and fire against the crossbar Well, they were so, so close there, Derek, to taking the lead. Just can't believe that the woodwork saved the goalkeeper on that occasion. A header, but far too straight to worry the keeper. Yeah, meat and drink for a goalkeeper of that class. Alex Kenyon here. Well, that's one for them to pursue. John O'Sullivan playing with purpose and control no spillage from the goalkeeper routine well I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the oh it's gone in and you have to feel for him now it will go down as an own goal well, let's have a look at that again all defenders look away nobody likes to see this it's poor, you have to say, but it's important now that he puts his head back on and starts to concentrate on the rest of the game. Oh, that's a goal at the wrong end. Well, it's every defender's nightmare. An own goal here. They will now make use of the substitute's bench. Well, an own goal that has left them trailing and flailing inside the final five minutes now. Can they get in behind them? Just cutting off the supply. Griffith, promising looking ball. Thunders clear. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minute. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Powell, Winsor with it. Morris giving it a try still alive not finished yet not quite yet still excitement left in the game well here's the replay the keeper's made a save but it's not good enough it's back into play but he was first to react and it's in the back of the net well what an extraordinary scoreline does this game have more goals in it and there it is, the final whistle. This looks promising. Just a couple of questions for you. Thank you for your time.
Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you. Can we take your seats? And we'll start getting the questions in now. Thank you. Hello everyone, the weather forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got. Derek Ray here on the commentary box, joined as always by former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And League Two action is what's on the menu coming up live. It's Crawley Town and they take on Crew Alexandra. Yeah, thanks Derek, looking forward to a bright, lively start in this one. Quick tempo, who can be the dominant force in the first 20 minutes? They could get the upper hand in this one. They couldn't maintain possession. Ainley with it. Preferring to go infield. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Opportunity to take the lead. What a... And the post coming to the goalkeeper's aid. Well, there were certainly question marks about utilising him in this excellent vision. And the alarm bells are ringing. Surely a goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, in this replay, you're going to see a 2v1 against the keeper. How does that happen? He'll be asking his defence why he was left exposed. Nothing he could do. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Crew, number seven, Daniel Powell.
Slipshod passing. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Really a very poor ball. And threading it forward. And he might be in here. And oh, he's missed it. Good heavens. Well, what a chance for an equaliser, Derek. At this level, you don't get many chances. And that was one of them. And Sass Davis here. And he's going to be disappointed with that pass. And crossed in there. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. An important interception. I must say, this looks promising. Will he play it in? Well, clattered away. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McInerney to tell us more. It's a goal for Plymouth Argyle. 25 minutes played, 1-1. Thanks very much, as always, Alan. Well, that's the kind of play you want from your defender. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Just can't seem to get out of their own half, and that's down to the pressure. purpose and control an attack full of promise he's got to score and they've done it to square the game once again exhilarating well here we can see Derek from this better angle it's all about the technique when you're volleying a ball it's all about timing let it get to the right place for your foot to make the connection and there you go in the back of the net Owen Dale Ainley with it now will they be can he finish this oh and current converts Powell, Payne, whatever it takes to keep them out, Ainley with it, Smith, couldn't keep it, Payne, opportunity it is, the offside flag had to go up, and it did. Yeah, look along the line, look along the line. The, the referee has decided... Oh, that's a goal at the wrong end! Well, it's every defender's nightmare, an own goal here. So, an own goal, and now they are chasing this game. Powell might be able to get in behind the defence. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Well, straight into the meat of the penalty area. Not all that convincing defensively. So the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage in this match.
Really tense battle so far. And now the second half is underway. And very deftly cut out. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. He's in with a chance. Can they put it away? There has been so much speculation in terms of whether the transfer would go ahead, but it will go ahead, Lee. Well, Derek, a fee of around £95 million is what you've got to pay for quality these days. I think they're getting an absolute gem. I think safe pair of hands did his job. Read it magnificently and intercepted. A really committed challenge. And it's gone out for a throw-in. Just going to be a double substitution. Lowry now. Ainley with it. Dangerous-looking attack. Couldn't hang on to it. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Tremendous intuition to win it back. This might be ideal for the counter. Promising sequence. Great opportunity. An excellent example of counter-attacking football and almost a goal. Well, they broke at speed and looked like they were going to capitalise. Not far off target. Lowry now. Well, let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for AFC Wimbledon. 69 minutes played. 1-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Dale. Read it superbly to take back possession. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Give it away. And they'll have to throw it back in play. Inside the last quarter of an hour. An important interception. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McAnally to tell us more. It's a second goal for Plymouth Argyle. 76 minutes played. 2-1. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Can they take advantage of the situation? Can he get them level? No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Well, as we see, counter-attacking football at its purest, superb use of pace, a fabulous goal. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Powell. 
And news of a goal in the Blackpool match. Let's hear about it from Alan. It's a third goal for Blackpool. Eight minutes remain. 3 0. Many thanks, Alan. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Well, the crowd have reacted to this effort the players are putting in. They just need to keep their concentration and the game should be theirs. Now he's got to stay calm. Will he finish? Oh, he's failed to hit the target and that could have been that. Can you go two goals up? No, you can't. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Well, that's one for them to pursue. And he's found a bit of daylight. And it's come off the keeper. Much more straightforward for the keeper this time. But preview. that's it. The referee brings the action to an end. And the alarm bells are ringing. Just a couple of questions for you. Thanks very much for speaking. Thank you. 